This week, news from the set of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, a trailer for The Bad Batch, and more. We're not fooling. This week... Buddy, that's your line. This week in Roosevelt... Oh, that is not the name of the show, man. You don't know that. I can't stay mad at you. Hey fam, it's your girl Lulu, and welcome to my new show. I'm the star. Where's Hector Smidget? Well, get me his agent on the phone. You know what? Scratch that. Pun definitely intended. Hey, what's Dagger doing? Uh, what's my line? Somebody get me Carboni on the phone. Earlier this week, we got some exciting casting news from the crew behind the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. You may remember that series lead Ewan McGregor will be reunited with Hayden Christensen reprising his role as Darth Vader in a story set about 10 years after Star Wars Revenge of the Sith and directed by the Mandalorian alum Deborah Chow. Now, we've learned other key cast members will include Star Wars prequel alums Joel Edgerton and Bonnie Peace. No word yet on their roles, but the last time we saw these two together on screen, they were cradling a baby Luke Skywalker and gazing out at the twins sons of Tatooine. Mm -hmm. The cast will also welcome newcomers Moses Ingram, Kumail Nanjiani, Indira Varma, Rupert Friend, O'Shea Jackson Jr., Sun Kang, Simone Kessel, and Benny Safdie. Obi-Wan Kenobi is executive produced by Kathleen Kennedy, Michelle Rejwan, Deborah Chow, Ewan McGregor, and writer Joby Harold. And the casting director is Carmen Cuba. The series, which will be available exclusively on Disney+, Plus, will begin shooting this month. Then, on Tuesday, we got to feast our eyes on the brand new trailer for Star Wars The Bad Batch. The gritty, post-Clone War world reflected in the two-minute trailer reintroduced some familiar faces and fan favorites, including Tarkin, Saw Gerrera, and Fennec Shan, as well as, obviously, Clone Force 99. My Man Wrecker, voiced by D. Bradley Baker, is back alongside Hunter, voiced by D. Bradley Baker, Tech, voiced by D. Bradley Baker, Crosshair, voiced by D. Bradley Baker, and newcomer X who you may be surprised to learn is voiced by D. Bradley Baker. We might need to clone him at this point. Plus, there's a mysterious kid running around who seems to know an awful lot about our elite squad. What's that about? Watch or rewatch the trailer for yourself now on StarWars.com and then tune in to learn more when the series premieres on May the 4th, Star Wars Day, streaming only on Disney+. Plus. And if you just can't wait that long for new Star Wars starting tomorrow, there will be some minty fresh titles for you. Okay, not exactly minty fresh, but behold, the Star Wars Vintage Collection on Disney+. Plus. We're talking Ewoks, Ewoks, and more Ewoks with the Battle for Endor. That's right, Teak fans. Caravan of Courage and the Ewoks animated series direct from the 1980s Saturday morning lineup. Plus, Gendy Tartakovsky's 2D Clone Wars micro series is blasting its way onto the streaming service, as well as the story of the faithful Wookiee, featuring the first ever animated appearance of one Boba Fett. No April Fool in here. One glorious segment from the OG Star Wars holiday special will be available for your viewing pleasure on Disney Plus beginning tomorrow, April 2nd. Tell me, O oh Muse, of those ingenious heroes who traveled across the galaxy far, far away. Soon, in the same lyrical verse and meter style of Homer's Odysseus, you can relive some of the greatest adventures had by Luke Skywalker, Jyn Erso, Darth Vader, and more. In the Odyssey of Star Wars, an epic poem, author Jack Mitchell delivers legendary battles, iconic heroes, fearsome warriors, sleek ships, and dangerous monsters. We got them all. The tale begins with the rebel heist on Scarif to swipe the plans to the Death Star and continues all the way through to the climax of Return of the Jedi. The Odyssey of Star Wars, an epic poem will also feature stunning illustrations inspired by the terracotta art of Greek antiquity. For all the details, head to StarWars.com slash ThisWeekNow. Did you hear that sound? This just in, Thrawn fans! Today, we have an exclusive reveal of the cover art for the third Thrawn novel in Timothy Zahn's Ascendancy trilogy. And not only do you get to ooh and ah at the cover of Lesser Evil seen here, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Thrawn Ascendancy Lesser Evil will be hitting store shelves even sooner than expected on November 16th, 2021. This is not a drill or an April Fool's joke, people. Surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Take a closer look at that cover art right now on StarWars.com slash this week. Earlier this week, Star Wars Insider number 201 hit newsstands and inside, see what we did there? You'll find a new two-part story by our friend Kevin Scott set in the High Republic and an interview with that debonair Jedi General, the animated Anakin Skywalker himself, Matt Lanter. We promise it won't break your heart. Check out a preview of coming attractions with an excerpt from the Lanter interview on StarWars.com slash ThisWeekNow, then pick up your copy wherever magazines are sold. This week in Star Wars history, we're a day late, but we want to wish a happy birthday to the one, the only, Ewan McGregor. 
We all got an early birthday present this week when that exciting Kenobi casting news dropped. Long before he was originally cast as Qui-Gon Jinn's Padawan in the first prequel film Star Wars The Phantom Menace, Ewan was already a part of the Star Wars family thanks to his real-life uncle Dennis Lawson who played Wedge Antilles in the original trilogy. And because no one's ever really gone, the Jedi Master will once again take up his lightsaber, at least we hope so, to revisit the role in the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series headed to Disney+. Plus. And you may have noticed that our This Week in Star Wars trivia challenge looks a little bit different this week. No fake news stories for this April Fool's episode, just a whole lot of arabesque for you to decode. That's it for this week, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.